like son of a bitch. See, Jiang was right about some things. Not everyone deserves powers. And you do? Well, now that you got electricity running through your veins, you might actually kill someone. Let's get out of here. Oh, boyfriend of the year didn't tell you how his last relationship ended. He nearly murdered the poor girl. But I can see by your face that you're familiar with that side of him. Easy, come on. You may think you can change him, sweetheart, but you're wrong. Men like him don't change! He said you almost killed your girlfriend. What the hell was he talking about? Who was she? Why haven't you said anything about this before? Because I never wanted you to see that side of me. I don't really care what you want right now, Lincoln. You can't, you can't just show me Mr. Perfect all the time and keep all the ugly parts hidden away. That's not how this works. I need the truth or whatever we are ends now. Okay. You know how we've um, talked about how most inhumans have this feeling where nothing feels right, just empty. Yeah, like how I spent my entire life searching for my parents. It's a classic attempt to fill the void. Well, I tried to fill it with vodka, but I couldn't control it. The drinking or my temper. You've told me this. Not this. My girlfriend thought she could help me to be a better person. <laughs> we fought about that a lot. I don't even remember what we were arguing about that night. But the more I drank, the angrier I got. I just wanted to get away. So I got in the car. I don't know why the hell she got in with me, trying to talk me down. We ended up wrapped around the telephone pole. She was basically dead. But then Gordon showed up. He said he'd been watching me. They saved her and me, brought me to afterlife. And for the first time, I felt like that emptiness might be filled one day. Someone on our team is going to die. 